Hi everybody. Hi. It's great to have you here with us. We're going to be showing you a few of the things that we bought on our recent trip to Walt Disney World. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome place. You should go. You should go try it. It's a, it's a neat place. So, as many of you know, we went there. We were there for like 10 or 11 days and we bought a few things. We didn't mean to buy very many things, but we bought a few things. You can't help it. So we're gonna share some of that stuff with you. Let's get to it. What do we have uh, our first item? Well, Jack. <laughs> this is a 28 in Maine hat that I purchased. I intended to go and buy at least one hat when I was down there and then my hat came off on Splash Mountain. In fact we have a picture of it coming off with the on-ride photo. We'll take a look at it right here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So since I lost a hat I figured now I need two hats. So I left that one on Splash Mountain. So this one's pretty cool. I like the 28 main shirt hats I really like. I like the sort of understated, uh, mm -hmm. you know, for just uh, simple hats, but I like to have a Mickey or a character or Plus a, some sort of thing on it. Not Velcro. And, oh yeah, I like these, the back of these. I don't like the Velcro ones, and I don't like the snap buttons, but mm -hmm. I like this. Uh, it's adjustable, but it it's a little simpler. But, uh, so we got the hat. And this hat was $20, minus uh, annual pass discount. Everything, everything we got, you know, had the annual pass discount or whatever discount we had available. I told you there were two hats, right? So here's the other hat I got. Another 28 in Maine hat. And that is the Nautilus hat. I like this one. I like uh, the, the distressed look on this one a little bit. Sort of the old seaman's cap kind of thing. Um, it's got the Nautilus on it. It has on the back has the 28 and main button has the appropriate back that I like but this one's $29.95 and uh, I think this looks pretty good too I look like I'm ready to take over uh, the Nautilus you know in 1971 the 20,000 leagues was one of the big attractions and it's gone now I miss it so a little nostalgia here with this hat as well they didn't have a swan boat hat. If they had a swan boat hat, I would have gotten a swan boat hat. Just letting you know, Disney, 28 in Maine, swan boat hat. That's what you're gonna wanna see. All right, so what do we have next? Well, we got this really cool luggage tag. Wow, monorails. Monorails. Monorails, who, who worked in monorails around here? Who indeed? It's got this cool monorail poster over here. This is from Disneyland though but monorails are cool. But we like this luggage tag. This luggage tag was $12.95, and we got this at Disney Springs at the co-op, which we love that store, so there's that. All right, so the next thing that we purchased is this pair of Disney monorail socks. If anybody should be wearing these, I should be. And, uh, I drove monorail red and monorail blue. So these will look great on my feet. So those are pretty cool. And these are $13.99 for one pair, two pair for $20. So let's see what else we got. I also got this. I know many of you have this or have seen this. This is the Disney World backpack with the cartoons on it. Disney World Disney World. It's got a zipper pouch here so you can put stuff for easy grabbing right in the front pouch. Very cool. And a cinch sack at the top. I got this because the one we got from Disneyland on the honeymoon, we used it once and the seam ripped away from the bag so it's no longer its own separate piece. It's all one. I was very disappointed. So I'm hoping that this one lasts a little bit longer. Um, sadness. Um, this was $17.99. Another thing that uh, we did that uh, not everybody does down there is we bowled at Splitsville. Yeah. We brought, uh, as 
If you don't know, I bowl regularly in leagues, so I can't just uh, show up and use whatever balls they have. But uh, since our sister, uh, her sister, my sister-in-law, was driving down, we loaded the balls, the shoes, the equipment all into the car. So when we flew down, the balls were with us. So we made sure we went and bowled. Mm -hmm. And uh, just in case you're wondering, uh, like 200, 224, I scored well there. So uh, we had a great time. The food in Splitsville so is terrific. Good. Even if you're not bowling, so go have lunch there because it's really, really good. Great appetizers. Fun. They have really good lunch, mm -hmm. fun, fruity drinks if you want to do that. If you sit outside, you can get a good view of the Disney Springs area. Mm -hmm. Sitting inside and just watching people bowl is kind of fun too. Yeah. Uh, so there's there's good opportunity. And uh, so we got this shirt. That's the back. That's the back of it. And then this is the front. And it's a Splitsville t-shirt. This is the Orlando on the back of it. And they were two for 20. So I picked up two, one of this. There was also a white one with black type, a slightly different logo. I'm going to insert that right here. <laughs> because I don't know where it is at the moment. And let's move on to the next store, but she got this. It's the mini Americana hat. It's about 20 bucks. She likes it, it looks cute. So we picked that up. We got this one. This is a 28 and main shirt as well. It is for the Grand Circle Tour. <laughs> for the trains. the trains who doesn't like the trains the trains I like this shirt I like the retro it even looks the retro. dirty like you've been working on the railroad it's really kind yeah. of cool it's probably, it's, it's probably hard to look but like right in here you, there's it looks like there's like dirt smudges almost on it yeah so it's kind of it's got that sort of coal you've been in the coal ash uh, and I like I like the retro look the steam trains I mean, it's just neat. So, it's what is this thin. one? What is this one? Uh, it's a very thin shirt too, and it is thirty six ninety five. Expensive. These twenty eight main shirts are expensive. So, They're what did so we do? Cool. We bought a whole bunch of this yeah. twenty eight main stuff. Because we're suckers. Yeah. So, you know, like, you know, that's the kind of shirt I don't. I won't wear it a lot. I'll wear it at specific times when I really feel like wearing it. But the uh, the twenty eight main shirts are really cool. We liked uh, we liked those. Then we got another shirt, so cute. This is a Mickey Mouse shirt, just regular with a nice little V-neck. And this was um, at the World of Disney for $32.95 as well. So the t-shirts are kind of pricey and they're very thin, but you know what? Uh, we don't usually buy anything when we go so this time I thought, yeah, I'm going to get some shirts because I'll be able to wear them soon. Yeah. As many of you know, we did Halloween Horror Nights and Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So this is the first time I ever did this, but I bought some Mickey's Halloween Party merchandise. And this is the shirt for the party. So it says what does that say on the front? Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. Cool. And then there's at the bottom, if you can see, and my arms aren't long enough, the little scary stuff, which is very cute. And it's purple. And so I loved it. It was purple. This was also $32.99. This was a special request. Mm -hmm. This is the Figment Food and Wine festival t-shirt and we had not purchased this the last day that we were there uh, we had a couple hours in the morning before we had to catch our magical express to the airport and she wasn't feeling good so she didn't so want to sick. go into the park so sick so I dashed off in the morning on the med on the uh, magical Epcot bus <laughs> raced over to Epcot picked up this shirt and a couple of other items 
snapped a couple of photos, said, cool, look at that, cool, look at that, and then raced back to the hotel to catch our uh, resort bus back. So I picked this up. This was something she requested. Please, I want to get one of these. So picked that up on our way out. Yay. And the, the sad part was I could smell the food and wine booze. <laughs> I, they were just cranking up, and they were 20 minutes away from serving food and wine. And I, I so wanted to get a scallop or a, maybe uh, the, the loaded mac and cheese. Mm. One more bite, but I had to get back to catch the Magical Express. Sadness. Another shirt. This looks like one of my shirts. Looks Aww. looks fireworky. Is that the castle? Is that the castle? No crane. So yeah, this is a 45th anniversary shirt from the. Uh, we were there on the first October 1st when the birthday was happening. So we got this shirt. This isn't an I was there pass holder shirt or any of those. Uh, I wasn't standing in those lines. There isn't a. <laughs> I, I like the uh, anniversary merchandise, but I did not need to get the anniversary I was there that specific day stuff so bad that I wanted to wait an hour, hour and a half, two hours in line. This crazy. Now we did get one of those, but we didn't have to stand in line for two hours to get it. So. That's one of the buttons that they were giving away at the parks on the actual anniversary, October 1st, 2016. So, pretty cool. So, one of the other things that Bill got on his jaunt to Epcot on our last day was this food and wine hot bag. A little oven mitt. A little pigment oven mitt. If we still had the Galaxy Note 7, I could use this to carry it around. <laughs> and you would need to. But look how since cute. I turned it in, we don't need that. It's so cute. It really is cute. We'll probably never use it. It's so cute. This was $14.99. Nice. The last things that we got were these lovely things. We got the uh, regular food and wine, taste your way around the world. And we also got the figment food and wine, trash can, salt and pepper shaker. We got one of each and these are uh, $9.99. One of these Star Wars Disney attraction mashup shirts. This one's for Return of the Jedi Episode 6 as well as the Haunted Mansion. Of course, Moon of Endor. I really think this shirt looks pretty cool. It's $24.99. Definitely like wearing that around. Now I know that a lot of you out there collect the pins and you're really into the pins and that's great. We do not collect the pins. However, for some reason and somehow, we ended up with some pins. And so we're going to share those with you today. This is from the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I got this when Bill was off at his Horror Nights. Limited release. Yay. We also got this really cool 45th anniversary Mickey pin and 45th anniversary Tinkerbell pin. These were both yellow. Um, you pin collectors know what that price is. I don't really it's probably remember. Probably like six or seven dollars or something like that. Yeah, or nine, something. I don't know. So along those lines too, not a pin. But a keychain. Keep him from turning. A magnet. They tagged for, if they tagged 45th anniversary on it and we didn't have to stand in line for an hour for it, <laughs> we probably got we it. We got it. So this is the pin. 
I, I believe hey. our buddies Brad and Lindsay also have acquired a pen just like this mm -hmm. one. We bought this. We can be pen pals. <laughs> to sign our names on the bolt that Gem Sessions left. Which we didn't find. Which we did not which find. Which apparently the is still there. I don't know what happened. I scoured the top of that area where the bolt is supposed to be and there was dust and all kinds of gunk and I looked everywhere. I stood up and I'm fairly tall so I can see it and I I was up there I shot video and then looked at the video of it Nothing. couldn't couldn't find it. Nothing. But we got a pen. So, yeah. We would have written our names. We would have written our names with this. this so when I went to Splitsville, we went to Splitsville and bowled and got an appetizer one day and ate lunch Blaze Pizza probably because we ate there like 12 times. Uh, so the next day, Annette and I went back and we ate lunch, a whole lunch at Splitsville. Uh, and so we got a an adult beverage <laughs> that came in this lovely little cooler container. So Splitsville, Orlando, luxury lanes. So uh, we got the souvenir mug. It's a plastic mug with a little koozie uh, isolated. It was delicious. It was, yeah, the drink in, the, in here was really good. So we got this thing. Cool. Always need another drink receptacle. We got our popcorn and this lovely refillable popcorn bucket. Yay! Ooh, this is the fall edition of the annual pass holder refillable bucket. Pay $10, you get the bucket, and then you pay $1.50 for the remainder of your stay to get the bucket filled each time. We did not get the bucket filled as many times as we would have liked, but uh, we got a popcorn machine upstairs and we'll, we'll use our, it's a uh, similar to the theater style kettle machine like they have at the parks. And we will refill this bucket when we are uh, we do enjoy popcorn. eating our popcorn. This one's a good one. This is uh, this is the annual pass holder tumbler that uh, they were giving away. You get your three visits into food and wine, and you can trade in for a tumbler. So we got these tumblers, and uh, it was uh, just a free pass holder gift. It's a, it's a nice, solid glass. It says uh, food and wine at the bottom of it see it up against my hand or not but uh, when I went to pick it up they only showed one visit and the guy in front of me also showed one visit they told him he had to go to guest relations when I stepped up and had the same exact problem where I'd been there three times already and they only showed one visit to food and wine they asked if I had any proof and I said oh, I got pictures on my phone I guess and they said can you show them to us so I scrolled through my phone and I showed them pictures with the date in the uh, gallery. This is oh, uh, here's September 27th and here's September 24th. And, and so I showed them pictures from my previous day's visits to Epcot. They said, good enough. And then they sent me to go pick up my annual pass tumbler. So pays to take pictures. Weird, but it worked out in the end. Next thing I purchased was here at Universal Halloween Horror Nights. Got me a Universal Turvis Tumbler with Chance on it. Love me a Turvis Tumbler and a Halloween Horror Nights. A Turvis Tumbler was something I just couldn't turn down. So about 24 bucks. And uh, I'm gonna definitely love taking this one to work. All right, so the next thing that we got here are there's a series of things here and there's these coasters this one is, uh, is the retro lands coaster yeah uh, twilight zone tower of terror maybe a collector item when they switch it to guardians of the galaxy soon they're so cool uh, and anytime i get these and i've been collecting the other ones so i've got like the Twenty Thousand leagues jungle cruise a couple of the other ones they've put out before so i picked up the new ones that they had that i didn't have uh, Kilimanjaro Safaris. I always pick up a pair uh, so I have a complete set 
and Despair. and then I've got an extra one. So maybe one day I will give away a complete set. And these are nice the stone. The, yeah, stone these, are these are the sto thirsty stone uh, yeah. type of. There's the small world ones. We saw these, and I said, "Oh my gosh!" I, even though we don't really drink coffee at all. Uh, we do like some of these mugs and we'll do hot chocolate or she might do a tea But I saw this and I said, oh my gosh, this is the perfect hot chocolate mug It's no shoveling hot It'll chocolate be, mug That'll be delicious and I said, it's so cute uh, And then as I looked at it, it's actually a soup mug It's like a little personal soup mug But you could put a gigantic hot chocolate in it too <laughs> But uh, this is so cool and if you look uh, inside, it's red as Mickey's autograph on the back side. You can't have a Mickey mug without having a mini mug. So oh. I bought this one at Disney Springs and I said uh, a, a couple days later, we've got to get another one of these. We've got to get the mini one for, for her. So I think we picked this one up at Disney Springs. They're available all over, all over uh, polka dots. Disney property. They have polka dots on the inside. They got Minnie's autograph on the on the back side, and these were eighteen dollars. But aren't those cute? I mean, those are just cute. I can't wait to have a nice gigantic soup-sized hot chocolate in this, or maybe a little clam chowder or something. All right. So the next thing we got was the uh, we we've collected a whole bunch of these ear ornaments. We've got Thunder Mountain. We've got the uh, castle and the monorail going around we've got space what else mountain. space mountain we've got a whole bunch of these Tons. ear ornaments and we love them so we got the uh, 45th anniversary 1971 ear ornament and on the back side is space mountain wdw and uh so we love these these are cool you can pull the tab and light it up and uh, and it lights up so, not all of our souvenirs came from the parks. We did spend some time elsewhere in different locations, Disney Springs, and at the Poly, possibly at Jock Lindsay, and also at Trader Sam's. We did not get a Tiki Ghost Mug, if that's what you're thinking. But we Sadly. got a Shrunken Zombie Head. And isn't that pretty awesome? Why am I not drinking all my beverages out of this? This is what I should be taking to the work meeting. This, this is what I should be taking to my work meetings now. And also, they partook in the... We, we had to. We Nautilus. had to do it. The Nautilus. It's, it's what, 50 bucks in, for the drink and the souvenir uh, vessel. And the drink comes... Inside. Inside of there. Had to get that. I could not go... To Trader Sam's and not get me a Nautilus. Another 20,000 leagues. I intend sometime soon to fix me another beverage in here, alcohol or not, it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna put a drink in here and I'm gonna have my Nautilus hat on. You're drinking out of the Mickey Straws we got? Drinking out of this. This is great. So, like I said, we don't drink a lot of coffee, but. We do get mugs. We have more mugs than people who drink don't drink coffee should have. Way too many. So we got uh, first thing we did was went to uh, Starbucks and we picked up the Starbucks 45th anniversary Magic Kingdom mug. And it's a terrific mug. It's a it's large. It's a large mug. It's a fairly heavy mug. It's a tall mug. I love a tall mug. Starbucks. The location mugs. Location mugs. We so hadn't uh, we hadn't picked those up yet. We've got the we got the ones for Disneyland, but we had not yet purchased the Disney World ones. So this time we made sure that we stopped and grabbed the uh, location mugs for each of the Magic four Kingdom. parks. Epcot. The Spaceship Earth. Isn't that Kingdom. one kind of cool? I, I like that one a lot. I think that's my favorite one. Cute. So the location mugs are pretty cool. You can get them. You have to go to each park to get them. Would be nice if they had one for Disney Springs. 
just a merchandise idea for you, Disney. At Disney Springs, at DTEC. My case. Somebody got an iPhone case. I waited so long to go and make my own case, and it's Dumbo. Some of you out there will appreciate that more than others. She loves Dumbo. She I loves know. her Dumbo. So, yeah. So she's very happy with that case. It's really cute. It it's a really cute. cute case. So that's everything we got this time. It was way too much stuff. We bought way too much stuff. We got way too much food. Way too much beverages and snacks and all that sort of thing. We had a great trip this time. The next uh, video or two, in the next week, we are going to start rolling the trip videos. And you should be getting our travel departure day, either the video right after this or the second video after this. We'll have departure day. Not sure exactly when the next trip is going to be. We're hoping to go to Hawaii next year. So that's got a little bit of precedence over some of the other trips we might take. Yep. But we're always dreaming and dreaming big. We thank you for joining us. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed seeing the collection of stuff. Comment below. Let us know what your favorite item is that we purchased. We appreciate everybody watching, subscribing, liking, yep. sharing, commenting, retweeting, <laughs> all of that. We'll buy you a drink next time we're there. So remember, kids, have a good time all, all the, the time. time.